Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tour or bucket spigot plug it door. If you're doing it for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because we got these going on. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like as that helps me out for helping you guys out. And this week we're going Discord. SRV is the plugin made by Scars. And what this plugin does is allows you to communicate back and forth from your Discord server to your Minecraft server, which is so cool. You can even do the console commands between them as well as just chat. Now, we're not actually going to start in Minecraft, so we're going to hop over to a website. Be sure to check out the author's wiki, which is awesome and has the links to all these pages that we're going to. As well as check the jibbles below because I'll have it over an overview overview yes overview of this whole process with those links that you can hop into so let's jump over first things first is we're going to go to this website um which is creating a bot well it's creating an application which then we're going to designate as a bot we're going to call him effect and then we're going to go ahead and create the app great he has been created so a couple things that you need right off the bat. We're gonna need this client ID in a minute. The first thing we need is the bot token. So we need to create a bot. So we're gonna convert effect, the effect application into a bot. So we're gonna create a bot user. Now they have a token. So now we can copy and paste this entire token into the config file. So let's hop back over to the server. We'll check this out. So first things first, you gotta start your server at least once. So we're running one point 12.2 here and we're going to jump into the plugins folder you're going to drop this discord jar in here whatever the latest version is if you're running the latest version of minecraft 95 percent of the problems if you're not if this folder doesn't show up it's because you're not running the correct version of the minecraft for the version of the plugin you're running so make sure that those those align and then this will all work so then we're going to jump into discord you can change the messages this is how everything's going to show up in minecraft as well as discord uh, you can check that out later. The main thing is we're going to jump into this config file. So the main thing is you want to take and put your bot token into this bot token area, save it, control C, control V, that's copy and paste. And then we're going to jump back over to the website because there's one more thing that we need to do. Now we're going to take this client ID and we're going to copy this as well copy and then we have to go authorize it. So now we paste it into this website and now we can add it to our server, which it automatically figures out that we're on Discord, and we're going to add it to our server. Obviously, we're going to add it to my server, which uh, more information about that coming out later, and then we're going to authorize it on our server. And then we have to do I'm not a robot. There we go. We got all that sorted out. We have to go into our Discord and get our client ID setting, or our channel IDs to put in the config file. So they're kind of they're kind of talking right now they kind of see each other so we need to make sure they know where to talk to and then we need to finalize that communication so we're going to open this up and we're going to go into user settings and then we're going to go into appearances and then we're going to turn on developer mode boom that's it so with this we can right click on the channel and we can copy the id jump over to the config all right so we're going to copy and paste the channel ID into here so now it knows where to communicate to now this is the channel name in Minecraft so wherever this is so if you have multiple different channels through like hero through anything like that you can set up multiple channels in here so you can have different kind of communications going to different areas in discord which is really cool so you just copy that channel ID into there and then name this as like admin so only the admins in the hero chat would have access or be chatting in that area Area, which is pretty cool we're just gonna keep it simple we're gonna do the global so the next bit is we need to do the console as well jump back over here and then we're gonna right click on here copy now that that's all saved up now we need to create a role for the bot obviously so we're gonna jump into our server settings roles can add a role and just call it the bot role and we're gonna make him admin which is admin if you don't want them to be an administrator you can actually kind of restrict their permissions 
uh, these are the minimum permissions that you need for this bot to be able to interact with your Discord correctly. So go ahead and check those out. You can play with those. This is for kind of advanced users if you don't want the bot to have full admin rights, which I'd kind of highly re recommend that you figure that out. Now that we have the role created, we're going to go ahead and escape back into it. And now we need to restart our server, go into members, and then add the bot to the role. So let's go ahead and restart our server. And there we go. We have the bot. He showed up. So we got to do member list. Right click him. We're going to set him to the bot role. That way he can start talking back and forth. All right. And then we also want to make sure that the bot has permissions in here. This is public, so it doesn't matter. So now he has. Now the console's communicating because I just tried to type that in. So we're just we do test and then an unknown command. So we could send stuff back and forth. That's pretty cool. The console's working back and forth and then the server chat. So let's fire up Minecraft and see what that looks like. So now you can see that uh, the messages that are joining. And I believe you could turn off a lot of these messages in that messages YML. Good day. Now you can see effect, uh, I think that's the group I'm in, and then my username, and then message, which is pretty cool. So let's hop over to Minecraft, and you can see the other way of that. So now we're going to send that message from Discord back up. What is up? Hello from Discord. Now a couple things that you can do actually in here. So now you can see it says Discord, so we can see that it is a message from Discord. So there's, there's some other options in here. You can change in that messages YML. You can change uh, this to go directly to your Discord so they can join in there, or you have a lot of options in here, so Discord. And then you can actually link and unlink your Minecraft account to your Discord account so that when they're talking, you don't get duplicate messages. You just see that it is from from the server or from Discord, and it kind of goes back and forth, which is pretty cool. So you can link and unlink, and then you can set the bot picture as well in here. From here, you can reload. Um, this is a really, really cool plugin for talking back and forth. It allows you to even be able to manage your server while you're on the app on your phone so you can issue console commands all that stuff from like on the go somebody's like hey something's going on can you hop on you just fire up discord and type it in, in the, into that channel boom it's gone like restart the server or whatever it's really cool i think this you'll really like this have some fun there's a lot more you could do it with messages as well as linking unlinking and all that stuff um be sure to set up the advanced permissions for your bot and that is about it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Show some love to the author as well because this is a really cool plugin. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Kyle's reminding you guys all.